everybody we are now in my exam web browser i am running opera you can see i am in my local host dashboard and i have php my admin so let me first of all generate a new database which I will call e-yoga so I create the database now database is created so let's go back to localhost again and I am going to show you a template that I downloaded which I named it as yoga you can see is a nice template the link I will provide you in description and you can see the menus are all working schedule contact menus are all working right so today's task for us is how to contain or how to do a theming of this HTML template into the E2 framework which is a PHP framework that is our challenge here so let's walk through this challenge and I am going to demonstrate to you how to use theming in E here are some useful notes that I have jotted down in order to make the theme contain inside the E framework First of all, download E2 advanced package, create the database, connect to database using eYoga, which is my folder name, common config main local PHP. After that, we will do PHP e migrate, check if database user exists, and then we go to user model and change inactive to active state. And finally, we go to the front end folder. So we do few manipulations in the front end folder. We have to look for assets, app asset PHP, and then we have to create theme asset.php. Once we do that, copy index contents from theme, make a theme folder in front end web, copy all the theme contents here, make a web folder and test it working first, adjust main.php inside the theme folder so it's super easy and let's go ahead and go through the steps one by one so now we are in the e official website eframework.com and currently we are in e2 as of today the version is 2.0.37 so i have already downloaded and installed e in my computer a fresh package so you can go through these steps depending upon your operating system so the yoga as I showed you is currently available this is an HTML file and my exam is open here and I am showing you the e framework website meanwhile I have opened in Visual Studio Code two folders you can see e yoga where I have installed all the e and then followed by that you can see here this is the HTML template which is called yoga so there is no confusion yoga is HTML template e yoga is the yoga template which will be contained in the e framework right so let's go through steps one by one so before that we have to open a git bash so once you open the git bash we go to cd c exam HD Docs e yoga let's clear the screen okay 
we have to do a migration now. So let's look at our nodes. We have downloaded the e-advanced package and installed it. We have to create the database which we have done as eOga. Connect to database using common config main local. So let's go to the common config main local. Common config main local. Okay. Why we don't see common config main local is because we not had initialized. So once we initialize, we'll be able to see it. PHP INIT. Yes, it's PHP INIT. So currently we are in development mode. So let's do it. Yes, it's done. So once it's done, we can see inside the, let's refresh here. We can see inside the common config main local. Only if you initialize, you will be able to see this file coming in. So database is eYoga. So you can adjust your database accordingly. For me, username is root and there is no password because I am running exam with MySQL, PHP, MyAdmin. Okay. So once that is done, we can forget about this file. We are connected to the database and we go for the migration. So what is the command for migration? PHP e migrate. This is the fourth step. So let's do it. PHP e migrate. Yes, the migrations are done. Once you do the yes command, let's go and visit our database. Okay, once we go to see our database, PHP My Admin, eYoga, yes, the user is created. Currently, it's blank. So, let's go ahead to do localhost and then we have to do eYoga, eYoga slash front end, front end. F R O N T E N D. Okay, once we do that, you will be able to see the web folder. So go to the web folder. Yes, the e application is active now. So just copy the command and open another web browser and paste it and change it to backend. B A C K E N D. So now you can see front end and back end. So currently I am going to show you a small problem which you can face. So first of all, let's sign up. I am signing up as Yogesh. It's a fancy name, right? Yogesh at gmail.com. Let me spell out the password that I am putting. It is PPPAASSS. PPPAASSS1234. I sign up. Okay. So I am able to sign up now, right? I should be able to log in now. So just to put Yogesh, PPPAASSS1234, login, it is shows incorrect username password. If I go to the back end and I do the same, right, The same one, PPPAASSS1234, login, it says incorrect username password. The reason being that, let's go to the yoga folder and let's check for user. User.model, so it should be here. So in the user.model, we have 
status active and inactive here. So if you look at the database, right, user is already in place. But you can see that status is 9. So this means that the E2 developers who have installed on develop this platform they assume that when you register or sign up the status is 9 but once you sign up and you verify your email because there will be an email sent to you if you properly configured email clients in this framework this will send an email to you where you have to verify once you verify the status will become 10 but now since we are in development mode it's not so easy for us to do verifications and send email in fact email configuration is yet another topic to discuss so currently we have two options once we sign up we change it to 10 which is the active status manually in the database and then we go here we do the same p let us refresh first okay you can see it's already login let me log out and show you login yogesh p p p a a a s s s 1 2 3 4 right so login yes you can log in similarly yogesh P P P A A A S S S one two three four login yes you can log in so that is one point I wanted to show you so let's go back to this one database and let us put back the nine let's check again to login yogesh right one two three four Okay, once I do that, I am again unable to log in because the status is 9. So, I will show you another method. So, let's delete this user first. Why? Right? Okay, now we don't have any user. So, let's go here. Please subscribe to my videos and comment out if you like this video. If any improvements needed, please comment out also. You can contact me for any technical issues or new website work or application work. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Signing off, Penang Web Developer at gpsmartcodesgmail.com plus 6019-3766779. Thank you guys. Bye.